The order of running is uh, Megan, Sally, uh, Charlie, then Ned. Uh, okay. So uh, two minutes each, and again, I'll also I'll like to be rewarded after 15 seconds. So first up is uh, Megan. Hey, so I'm Megan, and I'm the only first year undergraduate running, but I believe I'm the candidate best placed to represent new students, inspire and relate to first years, and commit to your welfare. So um, what makes me ready to do all that? Working as a community support worker means that I can bring together communities. My extensive experience in activism means that I can stand up for students on issues of social justice and welfare. And my success working at a national LGBTQ organisation around sexual health means I can organise and lead effective campaigns. Mental health is an extensive issue within university, but by consulting with students, I'll make sure that I'm pushing the uni to provide what those students need, rather than what the uni thinks they need. Um, I'll lobby the uni to increase the number of counselling sessions allocated per student across all three campuses. Attendance policy reform is also critical to stop negative attitudes affecting student success. So, through lobbying for its reform, it means that people with mental and physical and all of those impairments can receive greater levels of support and understanding because um, students should never feel forced to drop out because they're unable to physically enter the classroom. Um, also, um, continuing to fight against period poverty is crucial to reduce financial burden on students. So, by building on inspirational work of previous sub officers, we can pursue equality in uni for like everyone who's affected. Finally, our lobby for an increase in the number of gender neutral and accessible toilets across campus, continuing from last year to ensure that everyone can pee comfortably. Um, so once again, I'm Megan. I'm running alongside Steph Stamp. Um, please vote Megan Steph, AKA Team m &S. Okay, um, I'm Sally and I'm running for the Vice President of Welfare and Community. Um, I just want to discuss some of the policies that I mentioned in my manifesto. So first of all, I want to improve student well-being. One in four students experience mental health issues and we need to remove the stigma around this and push for better services and have departments work closer together with student support to and increase communication within these departments and also as a whole by having peer support. I believe that the SU should be a directory for external support as well when it comes to students who are, have issues with abuse or drugs so they don't have to deal with these alone. I want to work close with the Vice President of Sports to help promote clubs and societies that are open, open for all to reduce isolation and discrimination which will in turn support students' well-being and also their health. Um, speaking of discrimination, I want to address inequalities, especially for underrepresented groups, such as mature students and students with dependents. I believe that the SU should be the first point of contact for any student with any issues or if they need support or signposting of where they need to go. Um, I also have, I also mentioned policies surrounding um, encouraging a greener university and creating a robust sustainability policy. Um, I also mentioned developing volunteering opportunities on and off campus and building a sense of community spirit by uniting the campuses. And I encourage you to ask me about this only because I don't have enough time to cover everything I want to say. So you've heard my passions now, and but I want to know your passions as well. I want I want you to rely on me and let me be your voice, and I will feed back to the appropriate committees and management. I believe in the power we have to work together, our voice, our change. So please vote on the 9th to the 12th of March. I'm Sally Wills, and where there's a Wills, there's a way. <laughs> Charlie and I'm a third year drama student. Uh, I wrote a little speech um, 
Oh, I hope I can do it all in two minutes. I'll try not to speak too fast. Um, so, when I started at Hope, I was coming out of a very bad time in my life. For most of the first year, I felt isolated, even though I had made many great friends. I struggled with being away from home, dealing with mental health, and putting pressure on myself to achieve good grades. I attempted to use university counselling services, but found that the waiting list was too long, and I didn't feel entirely comfortable talking to a stranger. I saw many of my friends go through the same problems, mostly because no one really knew how to help each other or didn't have the access to the right resources. When I saw the opportunity to be a candidate for this role, I knew I had to take it. I see so many wonderful faces pass me on campus, and I want to learn from them. In the past five years, 94% of universities saw a sharp increase in students uh, trying to access support services. If elected as vice president, I will expand the support services we have, making it widely accessible to all students. This means em implementing resources such as CBT, mindfulness workshops, and guided self-help. As well as this, I will create an anonymous worry wall or email for those who struggle to speak on the phone. I want students to enjoy their time at university. I want to ensure, people, to ensure that people feel loved and accepted. I want to celebrate your achievements and be there for you when things get difficult. If elected, I will work closely with students and part-time officers to create an environment where people are included and make decisions on how their spaces are used. I will organise events that all students can enjoy, such as summer social barbecue, as well as events, as well as events suited to a smaller student base. For example, autism friendly night, where students can enjoy themselves in a space that doesn't overstimulate or cause them stress. Lots of other things, but not enough time. <laughs> I'm Vicky and I'm a third year social policy and childhood and youth student. I'm also probably one of the weirdest candidates because I'm a mature student. I'm nearly 30. I know I don't look it, but I am. So my point as being a mature student is there's no support out there for mature students. So we need to create a society or something that mature students feel welcome in university. I also don't drink and yet a lot of societies and a lot of events focus around drinking. So I want to create fun days, fun activities where you don't have to have a drink. Like, why can't we have ball pools on university? I mean, everyone loves ball pool and everyone loves dogs, so fun day. Just something that gets you out there, makes you laugh, makes you have a good time with your friends, but doesn't revolve around the drinking culture that's part of university life. Um, one of my main points is the fun has been taken out of university, so let's give people a space to laugh. Why can't we have comedy nights? We've got three other universities around us. Why can't we work with them to create some comedy nights? try and get some really big names. Now I know I'm talking big money here, but a small fee for entering something where you can watch a really good comedian that makes you laugh, the stress of uni will just fade away. And it's really good fun. Um, I also have really strong volunteering connections and I've been volunteering since I was really young and the importance of volunteering is underrated at university. When we had a volunteering fair, there was like four organisations came. We need to develop that community. We need to develop that. Not only is it good for your CV, but it's good for your mental well-being. Helping other people helps you. So, please vote for me. <laughs> Any questions for the um, Council VP Welfare Committee? Okay, um, I have a couple of questions that were um, pre-submitted. Uh, first one is, um, what support do you intend to give to the liberation officers? Originally, I'd, I'd give them more training. You need to be there for them. You need to just be an open door, listen to people. Um, I'd say I'd really like to work closely with liber liberation officers. There is a lot of times on campus where I don't feel like um, people are included. Um, so with liberation officers, I'd like to uh, speak to people outside of HOPE, so other org organisations such as Samaritans, and get advice from them and obviously train uh, liberation officers so, they, so you know, they, they're able to speak to students uh, and know exactly what to say to them and what to say to me. So Yeah, yeah I'd agree with Charlie and say definitely more training for liberation officers, maybe even teachers as well. Um, we've had to deal with the with issues and yeah, includes external support so that it um, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think listening to them is definitely the most important point. Um, and communicating clearly, so um, communicating job roles and making sure you're there for them as the SU, as opposed to it just being the university being there for them, welfare-wise. Okay, and the uh, second question I've submitted is, uh, what do you think the main challenges are sort of, uh, in student accommodation issues? Okay, we all know student accommodation is hard. The way to live with people that you don't know and may potentially be the complete opposite of you are. We've had ideas, me and my friends, about talking about maybe you take an online personality quiz and they try and match people with similar personalities, but then you ca that kind of creates issues in the fact that you can create friends, you can become friends with people who have completely different personalities with you. It's a really tricky situation and I'm not sure what we could do about it, but I'd really like to look into that issue and ask people what they want from university accommodation. The process of change, if you're really unhappy in your accommodation, the process of changing accommodation should be easier. And if you are off your main campus, so at Egbert, there's no support at Egbert whatsoever. You're kind of just set out, left on your own and you're kind of away from the main two hubs of the campus so it would be great to develop on the support that's at other home accommodations um yeah i i do think there is a lot of issues around um around accommodation uh, one of them being that there isn't enough events I, i'd say for people to actually get to know each other obviously in freshers you have events and you come along when not very many people come along and you make small groups but then apart from that you don't really speak to people um so i think that making sure that there's events for people in accommodation um throughout the year will kind of help them engage with more people across uh, across campus um accommodation and also i think things like having um times where people can come along and have like uh, sexual health screenings or uh, if they have any issues or any crisis um, that, that there is like a place that they can come to um, outside of university times uh, something like that I don't know <laughs> yeah yeah I think um, what needs to be discussed as well is also like the increase in prices of like student accommodation and I think that the SU and also the NUS should be dealing with stuff like that. Um, as well as um, student accommodation problems I'd also talk about commuting students who probably feel like they don't have the same experiences that the students who live on campus experience because they're more likely to you know make friends with their flatmates so maybe having events and stuff for commuting students just to feel like they're more sort of involved yeah um yeah and um, i emphasize the fact that communication with students from different campuses is really important to find out their individual needs um also maybe looking into the shuttle bus times um because there's no shuttle buses services in the evenings um and in terms of commuting with the UCU strikes and people not knowing whether their classes are on until just before, um, it's really important for the university to take responsibility to that and to um, like convey that information clearly. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, if there's no more questions, we round of applause for the uh,